In a world where tech is advancing faster than ever, the roles of software engineering are also undergoing a dramatic transformation. With the rise of AI, the landscape of software development is shifting. Let's face it. And it's essential to understand how this change will actually shape the future of the industry. Today, we are going to dive into the history of software engineering, explore the current impact of AI, and also look at what the future holds for aspiring and also established software professionals. All right, but first we need to take a look back with software engineering. To truly grasp the significance of the changes that we are watching, let's take a step back and examine the evolution of software engineering. We talk a lot about how quickly it's moving now, but it's kind of always been moving pretty quickly. This is really interesting. So the roots of this field can actually be traced back to the 1940s when the first electronic computers were developed. And in those early days, programming was a very highly specialized skill. I know it is today, but even more so back then. It required a deep understanding of very complex machine languages. Now, one of the pioneers of software engineering was Margaret Hamilton, and she played a critical role of the Apollo 11's missions on board flight software. I mean, how cool is that? Hamilton's work laid the foundation for modern software engineering practices, emphasizing the importance of robust design, testing, documentation. I know it's something we all hate is documentation, but she really laid the foundation for or setting precedent for what was possible. And I think this is such a big moment in history that we need to reflect on because it was at that time that even the public who weren't in the software environment or industry really could see just the impact and the importance of these engineers and how they could impact our future. Now, as the decades passed and the demand for software grew, I mean, exponentially, in the 1980s, the personal computer revolution brought really this whole new era of computing power to the masses and with it was a surge in software development. Now, it was by the year 2000, the global software market had actually reached a staggering 180 billion, not million, billion, which employed millions of software engineers worldwide. Actually, on that note, I'm curious, if you are a software engineer or someone working in tech, leave down in the comments, what year did you get into tech? Don't lie, we're, we're, we're age friendly here. Now, fast forward to the present day, we find ourselves midst another transformation era, the age of AI. AI has already begun to significantly reshape the software engineering landscape. I mean, let's face it, even from a few years ago, it now looks so different. Which brings up the question that's been around for many decades as lots of these different shifts have happened, which is what's gonna happen to software engineers? There's different tasks being automated. There are certain jobs being taken away. What is going on here? I mean, take for example, the rise of code generation tools like GitHub Copilot, which is powered by OpenAI's GPT. I'm sure we're all very familiar with it by now. Copilot came onto the scene and it can automatically generate code snippets based on your input, which significantly reduces the time and effort that's required to write common functions and routines. And this technology is just the tip of the iceberg, hitting the immense potential of what AI can do in software development. So what does that mean though? I mean, despite the advancements in AI, the demand for engineering jobs continues to actually grow at a really impressive rate, according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. So depending where you are, but just to give you kind of an overarching sense of things, employment of software developers is projected to grow 22% from 2022 to 2032, which is much faster than the average for all occupations. And this growth is really driven by increasing reliance on technologies across industries. You know, I always say tech now, yes, it's its own industry, but it touches so many other industries from healthcare, finance, manufacturing to entertainment. The demand for software engineers with highly special skills is particularly high. Areas such as cybersecurity, cloud computing, and data science are experiencing a shortage for qualified professionals. This is really interesting. So for example, the global cybersecurity workforce shortage is actually expected to reach 3.5 million in unfilled positions by 2025 in the next year. And this is according to Cybersecurity Ventures. So this is a huge opportunity if you are someone who's looking to get into a specific area, maybe change careers, or you're a software developer and want to pivot into a specialty area. 
So then what does the future hold for software engineering with so much things happening in the space of AI? While some may fear that AI will replace human developers, the reality is far more nuanced than that. That's definitely not going to happen. Rather, what will happen or what is likely to happen is software engineers will work with AI. These are just tools, just like how when you are in construction or any other industry you're building with different tools, same thing with software engineers. I do think though, it will enable these engineers to focus on larger tasks, focusing on higher level tasks such as architecture design, problem solving, and innovation. And speaking of that, there are some really great courses to get more specialized or focused. My favorite, which I've shared about in a few videos, is machine learning on Coursera. This course is an excellent introduction to machine learning, covering topics such as supervised, unsupervised learning, neural networks, and best practices within machine learning. So if this is an area of interest to you, I would highly recommend taking this course. Now, another area that is growing in demand and is extremely important for engineers to understand or developers, or even if you're neither of those, to have a sense of how things are built is system design. And this is really cool. I've been really getting into system design uh, articles recently or blog posts and educative.io has a really cool one. So it's called system design interview course. And it's yes, it's designed to help prep you for an interview for system design. But even if that's not the case, I'm not doing an interview in system design. It's super interesting and it breaks things down in a really digestible and easy to understand way. So that's another one I'd recommend. Now, going back to Coursera, Deep Learning Specialization is another great course if you're interested in more of that AI space again. And the last one I want to call out is Cloud Computing Basics or Cloud 101. And this is a course by Cloud Guru. I had to double check what it was called, Cloud Guru. And uh, it really teaches the fundamentals of cloud computing, cloud services, deployment models. So if you are someone who's interested in the cloud, which is another very in demand and growing area, check that course out as well. Okay, so as AI continues to advance, software engineers will need to adapt and acquire new skills quickly. Taking some courses like we just mentioned is a great way to do that. Being proficient in AI frameworks, machine learning algorithms, data analysts, or even data analysis will become increasingly valuable. Now, collaboration between human developers and AI systems will become the norm. So rather than being so against using AI tools or you're too, too cool for it or whatever the case may be, embrace them, learn how they work, learn how to work with them. It's really exciting. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video on my thoughts and also to pulling in some data around where AI and software engineers fit together. This is a really interesting topic, even if you aren't a software engineer, as it seems to be a question on many people's minds. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, future tech, you know, all the good stuff. Leave in the comments other videos you want to see. And all right, I'm actually about to catch a flight. So I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.